welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL week one matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the San Diego Chargers. Now let's start with the Vikings traveling out west to San Diego, beautiful city by the way. Vikings offensively has to play, they have to play Vikings football guys. That means a heavy dose of Adrian Peterson. I have some serious questions about the Chargers defensive front and ability to stop the run. Although they added some talented linebackers and Takeo Spikes and company, but defensive line, I think you guys can lean on this, this group a bit and see how well you can run the football. A heavy dose of Peterson should be in order for the Chargers. And you also want to get Percy Harvin involved early. If you guys are able to run the football and get Harvin involved, I have full confidence in Donovan McNabb passing the football around to Barry Ann and also Shanko. Get Percy Harvin involved. He is the biggest playmaker outside of Peterson on an offense. Defensively, don't hesitate to send Greenway against the with the blitz against Phillip Rivers. Greenway is one of the more underrated linebackers in the league. A guy that excels at blitzing and also excels in pass coverage. Send him at Rivers, force Rivers to get that football out of his hands quickly. And the interior defensive line of the Minnesota Vikings has to come to play. You're gonna be playing without Kevin Williams. You already lost Pat Williams to retirement. So interior defense for the Vikings is gonna to have to be crucial in this ball game because San Diego, if they're smart, will try to lean on you guys and try to run downhill, especially in between the tackles. So I look for those young guys at the defensive tackle spot. I mean, you bring over a great guy in Remy Adele from the Saints. So if he can step up and play halfway decent, he is this defensive line will be able to stay on pace because Jared Allen is a guy that's going to get pressure on the quarterback no matter what. San Diego comes into this ball game offensively. You want to play above the rim with these defensive backs of the Minnesota Vikings. You guys have the height advantage over a lot of teams, even over a lot of NBA teams. So play above the rim on these corners of the Minnesota Vikings and get those jump ball opportunities. So you guys have those that matchup advantage over that secondary. Also. Stay spread out against the Vikings to keep that uh, extra rusher outside the box, guys. Because if they're if you stay condensed, they're going to get the pressure. If you stay if you stay wide, if you stay spread out, you're going to force these guys to make a decision. They're going to have to cover. And if he's wide out and still coming, Rivers has the talent to see that guy and throw right off him where he's throw to that vacated spot. So keep these guys from blitzing you by staying in the spread formation. Defensively, Bob Sanders has to have an impact versus the run game. He has to introduce himself to Adrian Peterson this week in order to shut down what the Vikings want to do on the road running the football. So look for that matchup to be a vital one. And can a defensive line hold his own? Minnesota's coming in, you know what they're going to do. They're going to run the football. If you can hold your own against their Vikings offensive line and against their running game, you're going to have a lot of success. So the biggest challenge is up to that defensive line to step up to the plate and make plays consistently and slow down Peterson. I say you stop him, slow him down, because if they're able to get that going, then everything else holds its own. They're going to be able to throw the football. McNabb is going to be able to get outside the pocket. It's going to be a dangerous day. It all starts with that defensive line and that front seven, those outside linebackers and inside backers stopping the run, at least slowing it down. Now let's look at some positional breakdowns to see who has the edge in this matchup, starting with the quarterback position. I'm going with Phillip Rivers. I like his gunslinger mentality, although McNabb is solid, but Rivers right now is playing on a higher level. I like what he brings to the table. Best running game, our best running backs. You have to look at the Vikings. Toby Gearhart, solid backup, but Peterson is the stud. This guy is a horse. He's going to get the football a lot this week, I suppose. Best receiving core. I'm going with the, the tall trees out there in San Diego. All guys are tall, all guys athletic, and the tight end Antonio Gates is one of the more talented tight ends in this league. Best offensive line. I'm going with the Chargers. They do a better job of protecting Rivers. And I still have some questions about the Vikings offensive line, especially at the tackle spot. So I have to go with the Chargers in that edge. Uh, best defensive line, even without the two Williams boys, I still give the edge to the Minnesota Vikings. Jared Allen's a guy that you can't block and a guy that's a relentless pass rusher. Best linebackers, I'm going with the Vikings. I like Greenway, I like Henderson, I like even his brother Henderson. So those two guys, even with the loss of Ben Lieber, are still very talented. Best secondary, very underrated secondary in, in San Diego. I like Bob Sanders, Weddle, and those two corners in Jammer and Kaysen. Very talented group of guys out there in San Diego. Best special teams unit. I'm going with the Vikings. Anytime you have Percy Harper returning kicks, you have a chance to score touchdowns. I like that. And they also have some solid kickers in Ryan Longwell. And a very good kicking game as uh, overall. X factor for the Vikings has to be Adrian Peterson. He has to control the tempo of this game. Has to control the clock as well. For the Chargers, it's that ground game versus the Vikings D-line. If they can run the football, the Chargers are going to have a lot of bounce and be tough to defeat. And that's why I think they will do that. And I'm going with the San Diego Chargers, although this may be the best game 
game of the weekend. I think the Chargers will come in and run the football downhill against that Vikings defensive front. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the football game plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash football game plan.